President Biden's disinformation czar quit today. She lasted three weeks and blamed disinformation for her early departure. Now Nina Jankowitz can go back to making her viral videos like this one where she plays the Mary Poppins of disinformation. Republicans claim Jankowitz would turn America into a 1984-like dystopia and she would use the Homeland Security Department as a ministry of truth. The truth is a lot tamer in terms of what the plan was, but the left's response to her quick departure captures the complete lack of awareness in the rollout. Here's the headline from the Washington Post. A pause of the Department of Homeland Security's newly created board comes after its head. Nina Jankowitz was the victim of coordinated online attacks as the administration struggled to respond. It's an article written by none other than Washington Post reporter Taylor Lorenz. Lorenz's dispatches tend to be long on lecturing mid-America and short on understanding what real America is about. It's hard to understand how the Minister of Disinformation accepted a job if she couldn't even deal with disinformation about herself. Put that aside for just one second. The Biden administration, though, picked her, even knowing about the video. Didn't help, nor did Jankowitz's tweet talking about Hunter Biden's laptop, quote, from hell, referring to it as disinformation. Never mind, it turned out to be true. She did get a New York Post front page out of the deal. Big sister is watching you. Biden unveils disinformation board with Hunter Denier as its leader. Jankowitz leaves the disinformation board after just three weeks. That's slightly less than the equally bad idea of CNN Plus that lasted a month. They both had epically bad rollouts, but both failed for the same reason. Elites in New York and Washington don't understand real America and get somewhere between insulted and annoyed when we in real America aren't thankful for Washington saving us from ourselves. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.